So a solo miner just hit another block on public pool. As you can see right here, all of our machines are off because we're currently doing cleaning, but we have just seen on public pool that somebody was mining to there and actually hit a block. They were running it on Umbrel, which is a custom operating system, which is technically running a copy of public pool. And we actually have a video coming out very soon, which is going to be using this Raspberry Pi to actually do the same thing that public pool or the person who hit the block is doing on public pool. We don't currently know what miner actually hit the block yet because it's up to them to come forward and tell us if it was a Bitax or Nerd QX, Zyber 8. We're still waiting to see if any of these have actually hit a block yet. We haven't seen any instances of the node QX hitting a block or the Zyber 8 or any other solo Bitcoin miners apart from the Bitax. So let's head over to the computer and talk about how this was hit. And then we'll talk a little bit more about Umbrel and how to set this up for yourself, solo mining Bitcoin to your own Bitcoin node. So as you can see here, solo block has been hit. Here's the mempool link here on a self-hosted node, no less, and then you can get your miners at pleb source if you want to. But here it is on the mempool. As you can see, you have the transactions. It was 12 hours ago, so we are kind of late because we slept on this. And it's to public pool. The block number is 920440. And the total overall was 3.141 Bitcoin. So that's around $347,000. And I believe that this is the second block that's ever been hit on public pool. We don't actually know where the miner is coming from in terms of what was actually hit on it, what hardware was used. It could have been a Bitax, a Nerd QX, a Zyber 8, an Ant Miner, an Avalon Nano, even a Bitax Hex. Because on public pool, they do list out what the miners are. These would technically not be the same miners that you would see on a self-hosted node, which we'll get into in a minute, but these could be the potential ones, which would be Bitax, CG Miner, which is technically the same thing, Node QX, Ant Miner, which is a Bitmain, Lucky Miner, Node QX Plus, Nerdax, and then some random names here, the NM Axe Gamma, NM Axe, Zyber 8 potentially, Zyber 8G, Nerd Octax, Nerd NOS, Potentially a bit Axe Hex, potentially a Nerd Axe Gamma, and that's pretty much it, or a Nerd Miner. So there's a lot of other miners that they could potentially be, but this is where you mainly see most of the solo Bitcoin miners go to. They either go to Public Pool or they'll go to Solo CK Pool. But you can see there's currently 14,000 currently running bit Axe Gammas on Public Pool. So one thing I want to mention about this as well is that this is only public pool as they're displaying it. What we're looking at here is actually an instance of public pool, which is run on Umbrel, which is an operating system. And when we actually look at all the blocks found, so one was found 12 hours ago and the other one was found seven months ago. Both of them were public pool on Umbrel, which means that they were using their own node and just running basically and they were just running basically a copy of public pool. We actually have a video coming out very soon, which is going to show you how to do this. So you have an operating system, which is the Umbrel operating system, and you can basically run your own Bitcoin node from there. And then you can actually download an app for public pool onto there, link it to your node, and then start running your own instance of public pool. And that's what these two miners were doing. And it seems to be more lucky than what you have on just the full instance of public pool here, probably because the ping is actually lower on the network because you're mining straight to your own node, which I assume is going to be closer than the public pool node. So we do have a video coming out very soon on how to do this with a Raspberry Pi 5. I believe that this is 16 gigabytes of RAM and a two terabyte SSD. We go through the whole process of how to build this and then actually put Umbrel onto the Raspberry Pi 5 and then show you how to run up a node and connect it to public pool or technically make a copy of public pool and use that to mine to. So that's what these two miners were doing. As I said, we obviously don't know 
what the hardware was. The only way that we would know was if somebody came forward and said that they mined it on this. It'd be very interesting to see because as it's their own instance, we can't see all the metrics in terms of the Terra hash, things like that on public pool, even on, if you scroll down here, the high scores, if it was hit on public pool, you would expect to see a higher score of the actual Bitcoin difficulty currently, which is around 140 T. And there's obviously no found blocks technically on public pool. So I think the way forward based on these kind of two of them that you see there, I mean, it is all luck on the network, but if you see another one on Umbrella, it's probably the best bet to start up your own Bitcoin node and then run public pool as an instance. As I said, we will be making a video on that very soon. So I'll show you the whole process. And then this is the wallet address that it was hit on, I believe. If you see here, there's just one transaction in. They actually haven't done anything with it, which leads me to believe they might be on a large farm because I think a lot of people would move their Bitcoin straight away very quickly. But technically, this is anonymous Bitcoin. So the only way that you can really get anonymous Bitcoin anymore is to actually mine it yourself. You can't even get it through pool mining technically because pools tend to, at least in a lot of the big Bitcoin mining pools, they tend to ask for email addresses and things like that. So this would technically be anonymous Bitcoin and it would be very hard to get a hold of that nowadays. So I don't know what people would want to actually do with it, but as soon as you put it up to an exchange, it's pretty much guaranteed that it's not anonymous anymore. But it seems like they haven't done anything with it, so it's just kind of sitting there. They might have not even realized that they hit the block. But this looks like a fresh wallet, so it's definitely something that somebody set up and not actually link their main wallet to it. So there might be a purpose behind that. So overall, it is good to see another block was found. I think technically, if it is a bit ax minor, then that's three blocks that have been found overall. We had one on Solo CK pool, which was the first, I believe, which was a bit ax ultra, and then another one on public pool. And if this is a bit ax minor, then that would be number three. It could also be any other minor that we see in terms of the hardware like the nerd QX Cyber 8. We are still awaiting to see some of those actually hit a block. But technically, when you're looking here, you have way more in terms of the BitAx hash rate. So as I said, this is always good news, and we're probably going to see some more solo blocks in the future. Based on probability, we have enough hash rate to hit one within the next couple of months. So hopefully we'll see that as well and stick around for the video on the Raspberry Pi where we go over how to actually create this in terms of your own node and then running up an instance of public pool. Make sure you like the video and subscribe for more content like this.